rock-hewn churches of Ethiopia's La Libela at the weekend, priests read the Bible by candlelight. They've been doing this for centuries to mark Orthodox Easter, but what was missing this year was tourists. Tens of thousands usually visit La Libera from Ethiopia and abroad for the most important holiday in the Orthodox calendar. But this year, according to Mizganal Tarakin, head priest at the St. Mary Church, the global health crisis has decreased the tourist flow enormously. <laughs> Back in the good days, tourists were flowing. Hotels were full. Many hotels had 300 to 400 workers. Now they are sitting at home with no income. As Ethiopia has opened up, La Libela has become a star tourist attraction. Its 12th and 13th century monolithic churches are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. But the La Libela Tourism Office says fewer than 600 have visited since the churches reopened in September last year. Hotel owner Masai Mekanen says the situation is very bad. Uh, because La Libela is depend on tourism. As you know, the hotels, and the souvenirs, the cafes, the shops, the farmers, all are direct or indirect are benefited from the tourist. Conflict in the northern Tigray region, which neighbors Amhara, where La Libela is located, has been another reason for foreign tourists to stay away. <laughs> Ms. Ganao says this year they are praying about the war, hunger in the country, and the curse from God. We pray to God, he says, to bring these to an end.